Do you like it when it's so hot and stuffy outside that you can't stand to be outside any longer? Of course not. Well, neither do the fish living in a water body suffering from thermal pollution, but unfortunately for them, they don't have a choice to walk back inside. Thermal pollution is when a water body changes temperatures dramatically. This is caused by runoff going off of hot and pervious surfaces, such as streets and roofs that don't allow runoff to infiltrate into the ground. Runoff is powerful stormwater running along the land to the lowest elevation. The heated runoff enters a storm drain, heading directly to your local water body. Thermal pollution is also caused by the removal of trees and vegetation, which provide cooling shade. Most organisms have adapted to a certain temperature range that they can live in, so when temperatures increase, cold water animals become replaced by warm water animals. This is bad news for the food chain, because animals that used to eat cold water animals may now have no valid food source, and animals without the right food source live shorter lives. When thermal pollution happens in a water body, it causes an overwhelming amount of plants to grow up because they grow better in warmer water. This can lead to eutrophication. Eutrophication is when there are so many plants in a water body that they crowd each other out and kill each other off. Then bacteria steals all the oxygen from the animals living in the water body, and without oxygen, they die. A few easy things we can do are planting more trees on our property, which will shade surfaces so that runoff going off of them isn't as hot. You can also plant more trees and vegetation under roofs to capture heat runoff and allow it to soak into the ground. But the best things that we can do to prevent thermal pollution is stop it at its source runoff. So remember to slow it down, soak it in, and keep it on your property. Created using Powtoon.